Hey guys, Mrs. W here. Yep, I'm not in the classroom, but I thought this might be a fun way to give you some details about how to put your parable book together, okay? There are a lot of things you wanna remember so that the project turns out really well and so that your pages aren't all stuck together, okay? First thing, you need to look at the list on the board and make sure that you have all of your pages to your parable book. At this point, if you're missing one, I don't have any extras and we'll just have to put the book together without all of the pages. Also on my desk, there are a couple of little um, pictures so that if when you made your parable book, if you are missing something, it fell off. I have two extras sitting on my desk and I don't know whose that is. And also this one will be sitting on my desk. Someone lost their treasure box um, parable and you need to come claim that. That will be sitting on the desk. After that, you just have to kind of go with what you have, okay? So here are some really key things to remember when you put your book together. It doesn't matter what order you put it in, you choose and that's fine, but here's the number one thing you have to remember. When you take your parable cards, all of the openings have to face the same way. So what I need you to do is to get all of your cards and stack them together so that the openings face the same way. See how the bottom one is open and now the next one is open and I'll get my next one and put the opening on, okay? Because when you glue them, you want them to all open up this way. If you turn it around, if you turned one around and you tried to open it, you couldn't because the fold is on the wrong side. So all the folds go in the back, all the openings go in the front. Also, make sure that you have them facing the same way so that when you open them up, the title is at the top. If you had it backwards, even though the opening is still at the front, if you had it flipped over, it would be upside down. So make sure that all of the folds, whoops, all the folds are in the back. Put them all in one stack, make sure all the openings are toward the front, and when you hold it, you need to look through it to make sure you don't have the cards upside down, okay? Then, here's the most important part. Every year I've done this, kids end up gluing their pages together. Put your stack, and set it aside. Take one of your cards. You are going to use glue stick. At, unfortunately at home, I only have the Elmer's glue bottle. Glue stick is the best for putting the pages together because they don't get so wet. Now you don't have to put glue stick all over every single one and here's why. Because do you see this little opening? If I put glue all over this, Look at my next page that would go on top of it. Do they have the same openings? They don't. So you have to take the bottom card first, put the next one on top, and then look what, where the opening is so that you know where to put the glue. So I'm not going to put the glue here. I'm going to even keep my finger there. I'm going to get my glue. Hopefully this works. Oh my goodness, it's almost stuck. Okay, I'll try to get it out. Pinch, pinch, pinch. I'm putting it all over the place. Now with glue stick, make sure you don't paint it with glue all over the place, but go around the outsides and then across the middle. Keep it as neat as you can. Then you take your next card and you put it right on top and you see, I don't have any glue where that opening is. Because if you had put glue there, you won't be able to pull up your card. Okay, so push that together. Take time to make sure you press all the edges together and you can even check to make sure that it does work so far. Okay, and then take your next one. Now remember the one with the tree? This is probably gonna be the hardest one because look how much open space you need to have for that card to sit on. You don't wanna put glue here because then the next card that goes on top will glue down and keep this one closed. 
So just look where the open parts are. Maybe use your hand. Take it away and glue it up. Your best bet is to go along the edges and then make some dots in the middle. Once you have the glue on, put the page on and look at it to make sure that there's no glue in this open spot. If you do have some, get a tissue or paper towel and wipe it off as good as you can so that it's not sticky, okay? All right, and then you'll get that all glued together. Now, you'll put your next one on. I'll pretend that this was my next one. Well, I'll just end it with this. So you have two pieces of colored cardstock in your blue school folder. Remember last week, Henry took the um, orders for what color you wanted. I chopped them up and you put them in your folder. You need to have those. If you can't find them, you need to search your desk because they were in there for sure. Okay, then you want to get your cover on. So what do you do? Okay, there's two things and I don't have all my supplies here. First, you need to cut a bit of yarn, which is one um, ruler. Remember the centimeters ruler? I want you to get that out and measure a piece of yarn that long and cut it off. Then do another one. So you have two pieces of yarn that, that color or that length. Then the piece of yarn has to go, I'm trying to think if I have anything here that could be yarn. Oh, we'll pretend. Hold on. All right. So let's pretend that this is my yarn. It is not gonna be this big. You want to put that yarn halfway across your top page, glue it down. You wanna use white glue for this and have it hanging out the front, okay? Flip your book over and take the yarn and again, glue it about halfway down your page and let the rest hang off the bottom. That creates two strings for you to tie your book close, okay? Then you have your yarn on there, and then you take your colored piece, one of them, and you put it right on top. You're gonna glue, look where the openings are, don't glue the openings, but put glue all around, and that colored piece of cardstock is gonna go right over top of the piece of yarn and your top card. Then you flip it, and you do the same thing. You already have your yarn glued. Then you put glue where it is appropriate, not in the open spaces, and glue that on, okay? Once you have all that on your cover or the top piece of your book, you need to write a title. What would the title for this particular book be? I think you can <coughs> create one. And then you need to put your name on it. So before you even get started, put into your mind <coughs> that this is going to be your best project. You want to show how much work you have put into your books and show that you know the parables that Jesus taught us by taking time to build a very detailed, beautiful book. I should have a sample there for you tomorrow morning um, that you can look at when you start working on this with Mrs. V, okay? When you finish, ask Mrs. B what is next and just listen to her as she takes you through the rest of the afternoon. All right, have a good time. Good luck. You can do it.